Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Liam Douglas from Liam Photography here, and in this video I'm doing an unboxing review of the Platyball Elite reverse ball head. So let's open this one up and see what we have inside the box. And alright, first of all, we got our instruction card, little instruction manual here. You can check it out. Gives you all the information on how to operate the ball head. And then we have the ball head itself right here and of course it has one of the little tags with the QR code I recommend you scan the code with your smartphone camera and watch the instructional video on how to properly use the ball head so you don't potentially damage expensive camera equipment by not using it properly so let's go ahead and pull that off then we also have in the box a protective sleeve and in this end we also have the little adapter to go from 3 8 to quarter 20 in a little Ziploc baggie and I already have it pulled out of here because I have it on my camera already but of course we also have one of the round tripod ball head plates for the Arca Swiss mount all right so first of all what makes this different from the Platyball Ergo that I showed you last week well first of all as you can see it's Ferrari red which is pretty cool. I love the color. But other than that, the basic design is exactly the same. You have your same lock and unlock trigger buttons on the front that release and lock the ball joint on the bottom here. And then, of course, you have the twist with the clicking to lock the Arca Swiss plate. And, of course, you have the little lock and unlock wheel that controls the panning function of the top of the head, as you can see here. You can see me turning it there. So other than that, it's exactly the same as the Ergo, with the exception that the Platyball Elite has a built-in electronic level, which is right here on the back of the unit. So you can see it there. It's got two small buttons. This one will wake the display or put it to sleep, and this one will allow you to uh, recalibrate if you need to. And then it has a little on-off switch here. So let's go ahead and turn that on, and we'll let you see what it looks like. There's the electronic level. All right, so now let me put it on one of my Platypod tripod flat plates. So I'm going to put it on one of my Platypod Max plates here. Let's get it on there and get it locked. Whoops, get it locked down properly so it's nice and tight. There we go. And then we set it down. And we can check to see how level it is, and it is off a bit. So let's go ahead and loosen the locking mechanism so that we can move it. And let's get it tilted until it's level here on my deck. Yeah, come down just a little bit. Let's see how that looks. Still a little bit off. All right, and as you can see there, there is the leveling display in action. You can see it here. Of course, it's not going to be level while I'm holding it up, but I just wanted to hold it up so you could see it. You can see how it operates. But let me set it back down here on the table, and I've got it level, so I'm going to go ahead and lock it down. And we got it locked down again. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my Fujifilm X-T4 with a 16 to 80 millimeter lens and I'm going to slide it into the top of the Arca Swiss mount just like I did with the Ergo and then of course twist it and you get that satisfying clicking sound letting you know that it's locking it down tight in place and as you can see it is locked down the camera stays on locked and loaded ready to go and again like I said this one it functions basically the exact same as the Ergo, with the exception of having the electronic level built into it. Now, I'm going to show you something else here, because this one does have the level. On the bottom of the ball head, let me take it back off my plate here. On the bottom of the ball head, you can see the little cap, which is where the A23 battery goes. It uses a standard single A23 battery. And I'll show you what they look like. You can find these at most hardware stores, pharmacies, Amazon, anything like that. So that's the little battery. And you put it in. 
negative side down so that the tip on the top on the positive pole is facing the cap and then you just screw the cap back in to tighten it. Now finger, finger tight is perfectly fine. If you do get it, you can tighten it down more with a slotted screwdriver or a coin because it does have a notch for that. But I don't see the need for that. Tightening it down finger tight is plenty good enough to do the job. I've never had any issues with mine out in the field with having it only finger tight. So then of course we set it back on here and we're going to slide my camera back in. As I said before, there we go. And it is locked and loaded. Camera stays tight. That's why you want to watch the instructional video to make sure you got it locked down tight so you don't accidentally drop your expensive camera and lens. That would not be a good thing. Now, I'm going to show you what I meant in the first video about it being a reverse ball head. So this is one of my current Manfrotto BHQ2 X-Pro ball heads. And as you can see on the Manfrotto, the mount plate's on top, just like it is on the Plata ball, but so is the ball joint. So the ball joint's up there on top. So it does have the pano function on the bottom here, and I haven't used the pano on this in quite a while, so I gotta, there we go. Uh, so you can see it does have the pano capability, but it's on the bottom. So you can, when you start doing your pano, you could be out of whack with it, where it's a lot less likely you're going to be out of whack using the plata ball because you can get it completely leveled first and then just loosen the top and spin your camera. Uh, but I just wanted to give you an example of what I meant by reverse ball head. Ball on top, the plata ball, ball on the bottom. I love this design. It's very awesome. Um, that is pretty much all there is to this one. Like I said, it's pretty much the exact same design as the Ergo, except it has the electronic level. You can see the lock and unlock icons there. Hopefully you can see them to represent lock and unlock for the buttons. And you have the lock unlock symbol on the pano dial. So, and it has all the same tick marks around the pano part of the head as well. And, of course, you have your lock and unlock symbols on this side for the lock and unlock of the ball mechanism as well. And I got to say, hands down, and I, I've said before, Platypod does not sponsor my channel or my podcast. I bought all of my Platypod gear out of my own pocket. I just really love the gear. And I love the fact that all of the gear is designed and built and sold by somebody who's an actual photographer. And that's Dr. Tiffenbrunn. He's absolutely fantastic. If you've been to his website, I can put a link in the description down below so you can check out his photography on, on his Smug Mug portfolio. It's absolutely amazing. He has some very beautiful photography. And like I said, I have the I have two of the Platypod Max flat tripods and I also have one of the elite tripods that I just recently got a couple weeks ago and I'll be doing a review video on the elite probably next week we'll see I may be doing a lens review next week or I may do the platypod elite I haven't decided yet but I absolutely love this combination this is a fantastic combination to use out in the field to get your so you have a tripod without having to carry a big clunky heavy one um, that sticks out, you know, that you got to latch to your backpack or you got to carry it over your shoulder or whatever the case may be. This is really nice because with the carabiner points on it, you can just clip it to your back camera bag with a carabiner. Same with the Plata Ball. The Plata Ball has the exact same carabiner mounting option so you can carry it on your bag. So let me take my camera back off here and we'll set my X-T4 down beside me and we'll take the Plata Ball Elite and remove it from the platypod max again and there you can see right here you can just stick a carabiner through any one of these three slots and then just hook it on your backpack your camera bag and let it dangle like that now for myself being i do have an extensive collection of platypod products i actually have a pelican case that has a telescoping handle and the rolling wheels one of the roller type cases that i have all of my platypod equipment in my two ball heads, my three plate tripods, my goosenecks, my clamps, all of that stuff, all in one unique, creative, easy to carry case that I can pull along behind me. I absolutely love that setup. And as I said, till the end of the year, you can use the code that Dr. Larry provided me with for my listeners and subscribers, which is NL20 
And up until the end of 2022, you can save 20% on any of the products that are Platypod name brand products. So on the Platyball Elite, the Platyball Ergo, the Platypod Tripods, Flat Tripods, the Ultra, and the Extreme. The Max has been discontinued and replaced with the Extreme. And any of the other Platypod accessories like the Gooseneck Arms, the Clamp, any of that stuff. Anything that is not Platypod brand, like the Square Jellyfish Smartphone Mount, or the Loom Cubes, that code does not work with those because they're not Platypod products. All right, so that's going to wrap up this unboxing review of the Platypod Elite. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for taking the time to watch it. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment on it, share it, hit the little bell, and share it out on social media. And I will see you all again next time.